Okay, so let's get to stamping. Now, tonight we are using a couple of products. We've got our hand penned, got to pull it out here, our hand pen bundle, and it coordinates with some pretty designer series paper. So here we go. It's on your catalog pages 104 and 105. Um, the suite comes with, of course, the stamp set and coordinating dies, and then this gorgeous paper. You also can do the Memories and More pack, and that is going to be an upcoming class to go for me, so I'm super excited about that. Um, also in the suite come these uh, gems. They're called Genial Gems, and they are gorgeous. This picture doesn't do them justice. They're really, really pretty. So we'll be using this suite tonight, and we'll also be using some new dies from the catalog. So looking forward to that. All right. For paper, we are using some of the de designer series paper from the hand pen DSP. Now, if you haven't looked at this yet, this stuff is... Oh my gosh, super, super pretty. So we have got this gorgeous like mint macaron, some polka dots, the pale papaya. I've used this purple, remember, when I made my partial die cut card. Uh, some beautiful, beautiful floral images. The purple is the back of this one, which I love. And some more florals. We've got some Blushing Bride there. And then here we've got our, what color is this green? It looks like it is, um, hmm, Garden Green. Had a moment there, I couldn't find another green listed and our two-sided gorgeous sheet that we are going to be using tonight. Um, this is probably some of my favorite from the new catalog. Okay, here we go. So first we are starting with a piece of Misty Moonlight. And we're going to cut this piece. I got all my cheating measurements here next to me. We're going to cut this piece down to five and a half by four and a quarter. So this card is going to be folded just a little bit different than we usually do. So five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to set these pieces aside. And then next we need a piece of basic white matting that's going to be a quarter of an inch shorter. So lining that up with this quarter of an inch here, cutting this down to five and a quarter by four. And setting this aside. Okay, next we need a piece of our absolutely stunning, oh my god, I love this image. Um, designer series paper. We're going to cut this one seven and a half by five inches. Now, let me show you one of my favorite things about our paper trimmer is that it has this arm that opens up that goes all the way out to 17 inches. So I am going to line this up at seven and a half inches. And then we're going to flip it around. And I can close this back up and we're going to cut it at five. Like so, okay, and then I need a piece that is nine and a half inches by three and a half inches. And yep. So out of the strip that's left, I'm going to open up my arm and I will cut this to nine and a half. And I will post all of these in my blog, all the measurements in the replay of my blog. So we've got this at nine and a half inches. 
And then this next side we'll do at three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. And we've got you know quite a bit left over that we can still use. So I'm just gonna slide that in here. All right. Okay, now this piece while we're cutting, we are going to score just on one side to two and three eighths. So that's going to be one eighth of an inch smaller than two and a half. And I really don't want this to rip, so I'm going to go over this a number of times, but not pushing very hard. I really just want an indentation so that I can see um, what to do with this layer. Oh, and then we need one more wisp or basic white piece that is four and a half by three and a quarter. So let's do four and a half by three and a quarter. So that should be most of our cutting done. Okay. So with this piece that we scored, we are going to fold. Hi, Noelle. So glad you could catch me. You missed all of my technical difficulties. Thank you everyone who came back. Oh my goodness. It is so embarrassing to have that happen. Okay, so now where this is scored, I'm gonna fold that down and burnish that edge. And then where this comes together here in the center, I'm going to fold the other end of my designer series paper over, meet it up in the center, and fold the other side down. So I don't need to score both sides because this is um, easy enough to fold towards itself. And so what we have is this uh, piece that opens like this. Okay. All right, now, the next thing we need to do with our um, other piece that we cut, uh, we've got five inches by seven and a half inches. Let me think about this. Yep, I am going to fold this in half. The short way so we're gonna make going from tall to short just like so okay now we're going to do a little bit of die cutting and I am going to use the new these are called basic borders dies so these are all dies that you can use in borders on your card So you've got this fun zigzag, you've got some clouds, it looks like, these jagged areas that actually look a little bit like mountains to me, a fun scalloped edge, a rounded edge, and then we also have this kind of triangle. So I'm going to use this triangle, and these look like they are stitched. So I love that. These are new. I almost missed them in the catalog. Okay, so let me get out my big boss. We're gonna do some die cutting. Okay, let me actually just move this out of the way for a minute. So I folded this in half, and what I'm gonna do is open it back up. And I am going to line up my arrow here like so. I like to kind of try and center this onto my die cutting plate so that the arrow is centered too if I can. Just 
just like that. And then we are going to run this through our die cutting machine. Okay, so. Oh, thank you so much, Noah. That's so sweet of you. I just always feel so bad. Some people are coming excited to see a project and oh my goodness then they have all sorts of issues and it's cutting out and freezing and I'm so appreciative that everyone lets me know so that I can hopefully make for a good experience all right so we've cut this piece off and we can use this for something else of course but what we end up with is a flap that opens like that <clears throat> all right now I'm going to set this aside here. This little piece is going to be for the inside of our card. So I'm going to do a little stamping on here. Um, I think that this would make a good thank you card. So I'm going to come in with my thanks sentiment. And the colors we've got going on here are Misty Moonlight, this white color, and Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to grab my Misty Moonlight here. And we will stamp this right in the center. Like so. Pretty thanks. I love that font. Oh my gosh. Do you guys love fonts? In the stamp set as much as I do oh if I see a font I must have then I'm like on it I'm really really loving the font and um, oh my gosh my favorite so far is probably the sweet as a peach set which isn't in yet but I love the font on this hello and best wish it I love the font in this artistically ink too it's like if I see a Schnazzy font. I am like all about it. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab this little, this little image here. And in my Daffodil Delight. There we go. I'm just going to stamp this a little bit on the edges. So I'm just going to pop one here and here. What's really funny is these colors together are my college alma mater colors. We were the Eau Claire Blue Golds. And the, um, Misty Moonlight and Daffodil Delight look a lot like it. So for any friends of mine who know people graduating from Eau Claire, um, this would make a great color for graduation cards. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that ends up working out? Okay, so we need to get our card put together. Um, I think I want one more die cut piece as I'm thinking about this. So let's get our big boss out again. I'm going to put this away and... I'm going to die cut some flowers here. I want to die cut this. So um, this detailed flower image and there's an outline for it too for if you've um, stamped the stamp set or the stamped image of it. But I'm going to do this in misty moonlight. So Let's get this out again. I should have done this right away, but I wasn't thinking on my extra die plates here. Okay, so I'm going to run this through and I'm using an old um, magnetic cutting plate and it's not one of our new plates. That comes with the new embossing um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. 
So it works for the most part, but I always like to run it through a few times because I don't want anything sticking. And of course my plate is very well loved. So all my pieces kind of stick to all the cuts that are in there. So I'm just working to get these little pieces out. There we go. Uh, Carol's asking what I majored in in college. Oh, this is a funny story. So <laughs> I wanted to be a teacher, um, a Spanish teacher actually, and I kind of got a wild hair um, like three years into my program and decided that I love the outdoors so much I wanted to work with fish populations. So in my third year of college, I switched over to biology. And what's really funny about that is I was really dead set on working with fish populations for the DNR or something along those lines. And I didn't, it took me five years to graduate. And in my fifth year, I finally had my ichthyology class, which is um, the study of fishes, bony fishes. And I got like all the way done with like, I don't know, a few weeks into the class. And I'm like, uh, I hate this class. So I switched my major all for working with fish populations. And then when I actually took the class on fish populations, I didn't enjoy it. So that's the irony for you. I minored in Spanish, so luckily I was able to use my Spanish, and now I work in the world of finance. So funny how that works out. All right, we're gonna start constructing our card. So, there we go. Just a little tip for those of you who use the stamp and seal. Um, sometimes when you pull your seal up from your paper, it pulls that adhesive back a little bit from the roller and you go to roll your glue and it's like tucked under here. When that happens, I just grab my runner and I twist it a little bit and bring that adhesive forward. So a couple tricks I have learned with stamp and seal is to be gentle with it. You really don't need to press very hard at all. It comes out super smooth, but you barely have to press. And not to do too dramatic of a like check when you're done, because that seems to kind of rip it off the runner. So just a couple of tips for those who maybe struggle a little bit with the seal or seal plus, both you can be really super gentle with. All right, so I have adhered my basic white to my Misty Moonlight layer. And next, I am going to come in. Let me see if I can do this right. Yes. Next, we're going to come in with this flap piece that we made. And this is going to go on our card front like this. So um, I'm going to glue the back of this down. Whenever you see my silicone craft sheet on my table, you know I'm gluing something. So again, just be very light touch, that's all you need. And I'm just going to do a little piece in the middle here. Putting a little more glue on this piece than I usually do since it's our card flap. Okay, and I'm going to center that up. Now it's hard to see all four sides of this. So all I'm doing is making sure that my three sides are equal. And when I do that, the fourth side just falls into place.
Ooh, thank you, Sue. I have heard that some people are struggling with the Stampin' Seal and the Stampin' Seal Plus. And what I found is I was pressing too hard when I was having issues with it. You can be super, super gentle. All right, next, you remember our flap that we um, kind of folded in. And we're going to adhere this underneath our flap from the top. So I'm going to flip this over and glue here. So for that one, I had to kind of roll my roller forward just a little bit. So some people are really struggling. They think that they aren't able to roll it. And really all that happened is their adhesive is stuck kind of back further on the roll. All right, we're going to center this up to, I should have paid more attention to how I was cutting this because I wanted these kind of cloud-like things to be opposite, but that's okay. Okay, so here's with our flap closed. And now we're going to put the inside layer on okay and center this up just like this I got a lot of layers here but it's absolutely gorgeous and definitely wows this is one of those cards that, wow. All right, I am going to need some ribbon because you know I must have ribbon. So let's see. Let's get out a few options. Um, this Freesia, I don't know if I like that one quite. I don't have any macaron here. That's the one that would be perfect, but this soft succulent might go really well. I kind of like how that is. Um, our other option here, pale papaya. I think I like the succulent better. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Thanks, Sue. This is a really, really easy fun fold. It's just a few layers, but it really does wow. Okay, so we're going to grab our soft succulent here because this shimmery ribbon has it looking sort of like mint macaron takes on a little bit of that tone and what I'm gonna do is let me get my craft sheet out of the way here tie this in a bow over here this this stays down this stuff oh my gosh it's so beautiful in a bow it's like I really really love this ribbon there we go okay and I'm just gonna trim off these ends Um, if you want, you could bring this other end down. I kind of like to leave them out here kind of crossed over. It might be weird. Thank you, Sandy. That's so sweet of you. Okay, so we've got our ribbon on. And, of course, you can adjust that how you see fit. And I thought it would be fun to take this scrap of stripey, um, I think this is Mint Macaron, and I've got my Label Me Lovely Punch. This is like my favorite punch. And punch this out. And then what I wanna do is glue 
our um, Misty Moonlight piece down onto our Mint Macaron die cut piece. So I'm just taking my liquid glue. For these intricate um, die cut pieces, um, the liquid glue works really, really great. So, getting a couple of these down. Trying not to get glue all over my fingers, but we all know that that is easier said than done. Okay, so we've got our Misty Moonlight here over our Mint Macaron DSP. And let me grab some dimensionals. I'm going to pop this up. Yes, Sue, you absolutely could use a sponge to spread the glue. And it's funny you asked that because I went to grab that before and I have it hanging on a hook um, next to my desk. And right before I was about to go live, it fell in between my uh, file cabinet and my wall. So... <laughs> my sponge is lost there till I pull out the file cabinet. So I just decided to wing it and use the liquid glue, but the sponge works amazing. What's awesome is when you sponge it on here, any glue that's down, it just peels right off and you have a clear um, silicone mat too. All right, bling. What do we think, bling? Oh, and you know what else I wanna do? I saw this tip. I got to find my Stella here. You can make your uh, layer pop by taking your Wink of Stella and coloring your cardstock. So we're going to add a little shimmer. By taking that Wink of Stella and it looks really, really sharp on the Misty Moonlight especially. So all I'm doing is taking my Wink of Stella and going along all of these pieces. Just like that. Now hopefully you're going to be able to see this shininess. Let's see, I'm going to bring it closer. I don't know if you can see it shimmering, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's all glittery, that misty moonlight layer now. I'm a little bit delayed in what I'm watching, so I can see that you cannot see at all that it's shimmery, but it is. All right, and now our genial gems that match uh, I'm going to grab a couple of these green ones and stick them on here I'll do one right here all right and there we have our card We are finished. Now, of course, you could do some stamping on here. This would be great to stamp some of those extra flowers. It would be beautiful. And then you open up that card and you see your inside sentiment that says thanks. Whoops. So what do you think? You love it? This is super easy, you guys. Just the measurements you have to know comes together really quick. You can show off both sides of your pretty designer series paper, some ribbons, some fun die cuts, and this little stitched edge looks really, really cool. So, 
I'm gonna flip my camera back around here. Oh, you can see my mess. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. Oh my gosh, I had fun doing this the old fashioned way. Hope you enjoyed my card. I had a lot of fun with you all tonight. Thanks for bearing with me through my technical difficulties. Um, I'm really close. I feel like this is like up my nose. Um, <clears throat> but I will be here live again tomorrow night at 7. And I think I'm going to play with... What should we do tomorrow? I think I'm going to play with this new Elegantly Sad bundle. I have some ideas for this one. I've got some simple cards and that paper is super, super pretty. You got a pretty punch that goes with it. So I will be right back here, seven o'clock tomorrow. And um, for those of you who are new, I'm always live on Mondays at seven central time. So make sure you join me here next Monday for Make It Monday. Otherwise join me tomorrow and Wednesday for the last two days of my catalog kickoff event. Thanks again for joining. I had so much fun. Hope you enjoyed my project and I will be stamping with you all soon.